we currently are doing the paparazzi challenge. I'll introduce the map, then I'll introduce the challenge, and then we'll get underway, my friends. I'm excited. I'm excited. I love the paparazzi challenge. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check the whiteboard for help. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, you and you. Okay. Okay. My friends, we are here on Bleasdale Farmhouse. We are nightmare difficulty. We're by ourselves. We don't use sanity pills. Also, we have our open microphone constantly. So everything you can hear, the ghost can hear too. My name's Ghost Carver, leading you through this. We're here to investigate the ghost of Donald Carter. In addition to working out what kind of ghost he is, we need to cleanse the area near him with smudge sticks, escape him in a hunt, and witness a ghost event. Yeah, we can do these things. We can do these things for sure. Now, we have an additional challenge, the Paparazzi Challenge. I will explain it once now, if in case you're unfamiliar. Otherwise, you can do exclamation mark Paparazzi anytime during the challenge, and you'll get a little description appear for you. We start with a torch, a crucifix, and a photo camera. And that's it. That's all we get. However, every time we take a picture of the ghost or anything else that gives us stars, like interactions, fingerprints, anything like that, a one that gives you an actual star rating for the picture, um, we can bring in one additional item. One additional item. Um, and so that's basically it. Otherwise, it's a normal investigation. Chat, I'll probably be asking you for recommendations on what equipment we need to bring in. So let's get on, the, on with it, shall we? Hello, Firefly. How are you? How's it going? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Right, let's find the fuse box first. Doop -doop 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 -doop. Oh, no, not there. That's a shame. I was kind of hoping it was going to be there. I quite like it when the fuse box is in the lobby. It, um, it kind of speeds up Bleasdale a little bit. Makes it a little bit less, I don't know, oppressive. Because if it's in the attic, that's brutal. If you've got like an attic fuse box, but the ghost is like downstairs. Oh, brutal. I love this map. It's it's scary. Yeah, I love this map too. I'm a big fan of this map. Um, it's quite unique, and I like that. To be honest, all the maps in Phasmo are pretty unique. I think the devs did a really good job with um, making everything pretty, you know unique and replayable and yeah i i really really love what they've done with everything but this map's definitely one of my favorites for sure because uh, there's a few things like it you know i have impeccable taste you do dixie you do yeah it's a great map great choice great choice okay so we don't really have a way to narrow down where the ghost is to begin with we kind of just need to explore and um Try and find the cursed object for a picture. Try and find the bone for another picture. And uh, hopefully find the ghost. Um, obviously, I know we have Dixper. Um, yes, it is a fuse box upstairs, Moz. Thank you. I know we have uh, Dixper enabled. But what I would ask, we do have an unwritten rule with Dixper. And that is, if there is a challenge in play... Um, please try not to, like, ruin the challenge with Dixper, okay? So, for example, with the Paparazzi challenge, don't spam the Dixper Redemption that would force me to spam my right click. Uh, because if I get my camera out, uh, even if I have it out already, you're going to waste loads of pictures, which kind of stop me completing the challenge. And likewise, like, if we have a challenge related to a ghost hunting me or something similar... Um, you know, try not to just get me killed during the first hunt because it's a bit unfair on the person redeeming the challenge. Mm -hmm. Have I ever played Ghost Exorcism? No, I haven't. I haven't. I get a lot of games recommended to me. Um, there's currently a lot of recommendations on the Discord, um, which I am slowly looking at all of them um, for some stream game recommendations and things like that. Um, so it's quite it's quite nice to see all those suggestions. Um, what I would say though is. Just remember, if you are on the Discord, uh, there are separate channels for stream game recommendations and um, recommendations for the stream itself. Because uh, we've had a lot of um, games being spammed into 
like feedback for the stream, which um, you know, I, I take it on board as a recommendation, but it, it's not real. I, I, I like saw all these like messages in like the feedback for the stream. I was like, oh my god, what happened in the stream? That got so much feedback. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's all good. It's all good. We've had some really good uh, games recommended. Hello, Mage. How are you? Hello, Ghost Kai. Remember me? Of course I do. Of course I do. Been a long time since last time. I'm still going to subscribe, but unfortunately can't watch the streams much due to work and school. No, no worries. No worries. It's lovely to see you, Mage. I hope you're keeping well. I hope, you, I hope you, you're in a good place with everything. Oh, bloody meat cleaver. Lovely. We still haven't found any sign of the ghost. I've not seen anything uh, that's been thrown... Uh, nothing that seems to be interacted with or anything like that. Uh, it used to be Ghost Hunter Corp and they renamed it to Ghost Exorcism. Oh, did they? Oh, okay. Then I definitely know about the game. I haven't played it, though. Um, I watched a few people stream it and stuff. And I just thought it looked a little bit rough around the edges and so I was like if I'm gonna stream this I'll probably wait for a bit. Oh my god. Wait, let's have a ghost. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, we don't know where the ghost is at the moment. We kind of need to find the ghost before we can commit to bringing... I thought it saw freezing. Oh, really? Where Where did you see it, Life's a Music Box? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Same? Oh, God, where? Where'd you see it? I was probably distracted. Right in front of the bathroom. Ooh, ooh. The hallway. Just there. <gasps> Good spot. Good spot. Well done, chat. Well done. Brilliant. Well, do you know what? You did your uh, Dixpo redemption in the perfect place, didn't you, Dixie? <laughs> the absolute perfect place. Well done. Good skills. Right, chat. We've got two photos. What are two items we're going to bring in? We already have freezing, so please no one say thermometer. What two items shall we bring in? Yeah, I'm doing really well, to be honest. Got my license last week in car. Oh, lovely. So you could say my mood lately has been at the top. Oh, wonderful. Hope you're doing well. And you've got nice new glasses. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got these uh, last month, I think. Uh, yeah, last, last month, I think. EMF, spirit box, UV light, EMF, EMF. Yeah, I think EMF's a no-brainer because it helps us take pictures. Um, the question is, do we take the video camera? Because the thing about this is there's a few doorways where the freezing is. So as soon as it touches a door or taps a window, I can take a picture. And if it's, if it's fingerprints, it will tell us it's fingerprints on the camera roll. So maybe we take video camera. I think maybe we take video camera. Video camera is always useful. Hello, McGains. How are you, buddy? Hey, Mass. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Camera for orbs and later dots. Yeah, true, true. Like, we're going to need this at some point. Especially because it's freezing and it could end up being a mimic. So we need to... We definitely need to have a look with this. Okay, still freezing here, I think. Just checking here. I'm just checking here. Okay, I'm not seeing any orbies. I'm not seeing any orbies. This is fine. This is fine. Um, hmm. I think we drop that there. And we've got EMF. Or the camera. Give me a sign. Did I just see an orb? Did you? <gasps> Interaction, not fingerprints. Not fingerprints. See? This is why we don't take the UV. 
Oh, we've got another picture. We've got another picture. Give me a sign. <laughs> EMF was a good choice. Give me a sign. Yes, man. UV for some feet later. Maybe, yeah. We'll um we'll work out what the ghost is first. We'll work out what the ghost is first. Evening. Oh my word. You just blow up the light. Uh hello Bethany. Hello, hello, hello. The gains, how's your evening been, buddy? Uh Ouija, hello, hello. How are you, Ouija Boo? Yes, I've added you to my auto shout out, Ouija. So uh I don't need to remember to do it anymore. <laughs> it's basically me being lazy. I don't need to remember to do it anymore. It's already ready to go as soon as you come in. Not a shade. No, it doesn't seem like a shade, does it? Right, so let's just... We've got freezing. We've now got one, two, three more pictures. Three more pictures. Hello, Kate. Hello, hello, hello. You just visited your madre. Oh, okay. I hope she's doing well, mate. I hope she's doing well. You're just waking up. Oh, God. I am for you. Right, should we do... We've got three things to take in. Should we do spirit box, dots, and book? I maybe shouldn't have done that. How's the ghost hunting going? Yeah, good so far. Good so far. Can you ask Ouija for interaction from it, maybe? Yeah, but I'll lower my, I'll lower my sanity. I don't want to do that. I don't want to lower my sanity. Not yet, anyway. I slept in today. Oh, that's the best. You know, I really struggle... I really struggle sleeping in. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. Where are you? How old are you? Okay. That doesn't seem likely. The ghost wants me. Yeah. No kidding. My sanity has been lowered since turning to an adult. Yeah. No kidding. Oh, that scared the life out of me. Dixie. Oh, <laughs> even when I work late, I work. That's exactly how I am, Kate. I can work till 11 o'clock at, at night. I will wake up at like 6, 6.30 the next morning. And that's like a lay-in, kind of. Okay, we're going to watch for dots for two seconds. We've got, let me just count this. Um, EMF, camera, dots, spirit box. So we've got one more item we can take in. So we'll take in an item and we will take in another photo camera. I think that's probably sensible. I think that's probably sensible. Hmm. Come on. Give us a dot. If you look at the lights in the dining room, by the way, I know it's kind of roaming a bit. Um, It's starting to get a bit scary. I think we've got a hiding place in the lockers in the back of this corridor, though. It's still freezing here, though, I think. So it should be returning to this room. Okay, I'm going to give it another 30 seconds and then we'll choose our next two objects. Well, next one object, because we'll definitely take a camera back in. God, I love this challenge. I love the paparazzi challenge. We've had a lot of, like, very um, imaginative challenges from people. And I do appreciate that. Because they're far more imaginative, some of them, than anything I could think of. Oh, by the way, those of you who've missed it just while we're waiting for dots, look, it's my new summery background. What do you think? Pretty nice, isn't it? I am... Um, I'm a big fan of egg and pie and cake and herbs. Yes. Reminds me of Hobbiton. Oh, it is a little bit. Yeah, it reminds me of The Witcher. Yeah, I think uh, it's going to be a fantasy theme for sure. Okay, we're not seeing dots. Reminds me of Beauty and the Beast for some reason. Yeah, but Firefly, which am I? Am I Beauty or am I the Beast? Because I think I'm probably the Beast. I think I'm probably the Beast. Uh, right, I'm going to take writing and uh, a photo camera. Thank you. Thank you. It's just yes. Thank you, buddy. I love the cottagey, hobbit-like atmosphere. Oh, thanks. Love it makes me sad. I'm heading into winter now. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I don't feel like I can answer that. Oh, no. Just to save my feelings. <laughs> did I leave the EMF in the van? I bloody did, didn't I? Oh. Hello? You're the beauty. Thanks, guys. Thank you. 
Winter is the best season. Congrats. I think that depends where you are in the world, my games. See, I, I'm a fan of cold weather as well. I am. You know, I'm. I think it's probably my Celtic blood. You know, I, I'm Irish descent, and I've got like Scottish and stuff in me as well. So, I think I think there's a large part of me that enjoys the cold, genetically. Yeah, we need to take this back in. This was one of our items. I'm not cheating. It was already in there. I just stupidly brought it out. Um. So I I enjoy the cold as well. But I think we're quite fortunate that, generally speaking, our winters are quite mild in the UK. I can't be a miling anyway. I don't know why I was doing a miling test. It can't be a miling. Uh, right, let's head back down. So yeah, I think I think we're we're quite fortunate that our winters in the UK aren't too bad. Not really. Even even the ones that are bad compared to the rest of the world. Fuck off. That was very quick, wasn't it? That was a very quick second hunt. Oh, we didn't get a picture of the ghost. He was fast. I don't think he was fast, man. Uh, where did I put the camera? There it is. Right, we got another photo to use there. He was on your tail. Yeah, but he like lost me. He lost me quite quickly. Okay, we've got two more items we can take it. You outran it quite easily by turning corner. Yeah, like I didn't get gin vibes. A gin would have like stayed on my ass. So I, I didn't I didn't get gin vibes. Because you would have heard the gin go zoomies. Could be a demon. Could be a demon. But now they decide hunting. I think we need a second crucifix to sound, sort of slow down. No, definitely no rev. Yeah, good shout. No rev, no hand to, sounded normal speed. Um, I don't think it's shade. I think it's too aggressive to be a shade. Uh, no mimic, because there's no ghost orbs. So that leaves these. Um, it could be a Yure. It's roamed really far from its initial room. A smudge stick would be good. It would. Yeah, smudge stick actually probably would be better. Um, right, let me throw this inside. I'm still terrible at ghost footsteps. It all sounds the same to me. Well, it's more the speed than, like, the loudness or anything. Yuri's is a good call indeed. Yeah, it did, like, a big roam because it started in the rear corridor. Um, oh, thank you, Ash. It started in the rear corridor, and now it's in the dining room. So I feel like that's quite a big movement. My bet's on Yure. We haven't seen, like, a unique Yure interaction yet, though. Um, the Yuri interaction, if anyone's not familiar. Oh, and the power's gone. The Yuri interaction, if anyone's not aware, is um, they slam loads of doors at once. And when I say they slam them, you know, when a ghost moves a door, it does like a little creak and moves about a foot. They like fully slam and like hard. They get hunting again.
That was a very short hunt. That was a very, very short hunt. Um, I'm not entirely sure where this ghost is now. And it seems to have moved quite a bit. Uh, which is slightly concerning. I think it might still be here, but it's kind of hard to tell. Nope. Whoa, 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 whoa. It hunted from the attic. Demon? Not demon, uh, twins. It's got to be twins. It followed you up. We haven't got a banshee. It has to be twins. Surely it has to be twins. Oh, I'm scared to go out here now. Really fast between hunts. Yeah, that's that's kind of a um, a twin's characteristic, because it hunts from different locations, and they have separate hunt timers. So you can literally get one stop hunting as the second one starts hunting. So it makes it seem like a double long hunt. I mean, there's no way it can't be twins, right? It hunted from the attic. There's no way. There's no way. And I wasn't up there when it hunted. It has to be twins. If this isn't twins, that's like proper ridiculous. Really ridiculous if that's not twins. That has to be twins. It's too far in between. The only thing is, the only thing is, this map this map has a habit of, like, being really screwy with ghost behavior. He didn't roam all the way there. No, it's way too far. It's way too far to roam. Is this the room, then, or is the room in the attic? That's the question. Is this the room, or is the room up there? Trust your gut. Just trust your gut. Go with it. Trust your gut. It's never wrong. Ever. Okay, I'm going to do that. Hopefully we'll get the objective. We did. We got the objective. So the ghost is currently down here. Can we quickly go for a spirit box? A cheeky spirit box. Or an EMF-5. I think those are the... Um, I think those are the signs for a twins this and I don't know what I've done with the EMF. Doesn't matter. Where are you? Where are you? What do you want? Where are you? How old are you? This is too dangerous. By the time I get an EMF reading it's probably going to kill me. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. It's freezing here. Where are you? Oh, it's throwing loads of objects. Okay, grab this, grab this. Give me a sign. 
Give me a sign. Show yourself. Okay. Okay, ghost picture. You're here. I know you're here. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. Very short hunts. Very, very short hunts. I couldn't hear it at all. You gotta remember when it's on a different level it will be muted. Um I think they've done something with the sound. Yeah, it's definitely twins. It hunted downstairs, then what? 20 seconds later, it hunted from the attic again? It's gotta be twins. It's gotta be twins. If this is somehow not twins, I'm highlighting this and sending it to the devs. <laughs> like, it has to be. It has to be at this point. There's no way this is not twins. Okay, twins. Um, and I know the ghost has moved from here, but we definitely didn't see any orbs. Uh, we absolutely didn't see any orbs. Okay. Twins it is. And it, also, if it was a mimic, I feel like it would have changed behavior by now to a different ghost. It's kind of consistently been twins, you know? It's consistently been hunting from upstairs and downstairs. What? I've got some jobs ready for you. No. I'm sorry. What? There's no way. There's no way. How can it hunt from downstairs and then 20 seconds later hunt from the attic and then 20 seconds later hunt from the bottom again? That's not, that's not correct behavior. That's broken. That's broken. I'm not having that. To me, that's not a loss. To me, that's not a loss. That is utterly broken. Okay. I know the streak's reset anyway, but still, like... Oh, no, the streak's not reset because we got the asylum one correct. Uh, right. Oh, can you guys see this? Yeah, you can. Solved. No. Died. No. It was Blaisdell Farmhouse. It was somehow a demon. Correct behavior. Absolutely no way. What on earth? Um, Consistent. Oh, excuse me. Consistent hunting behavior from the back corridor slash dining Can't even spell. Uh, area. And the attic. <laughs> um, ghost hunts would alternate between these two areas. This was 100% a twins. And yet, somehow, 
a demon. Both chat and myself are baffled. Yeah, that that needs highlighting. That needs highlighting. That is awful. It's a demon. It doesn't give a fuck. Well, I suppose so. I suppose so. I'm getting more frustrated with these ghost behaviors. They're so broken. I've had Omrias acting like banshees too. So you're going to send this to the devs? I, I think we have to. I think we have to. I think we're going to have to highlight... Hi, YouTube. I think we're going to have to highlight this. And we're going to have to... The crucifix. The crucifix wouldn't drive it into the attic. It wouldn't push it into the attic. And it also... It also didn't just... It didn't just um, move into the next room to hunt, which is what it should do with the crucifix. It went to the attic, and then it hunted from downstairs, and then it hunted from the attic, and then it hunted from downstairs. Like, near the crucifix. I, d I don't think the crucifix has got anything to do with it. Um, yeah, we're going to have to raise this. <laughs> I love that you guys... Um, it was still freezing as well downstairs. I know. Was the power in the attic? Yeah, the power was in the attic. It was just hunting between those two areas, which was very, very bizarre. Very, very bizarre. Okay, it's that time again. Chat, I am thinking of a number between 1 and 30. Do not say it yet. I'm still thinking of the number. The number is... Okay, that's a good number. Strong number. I like that number. 3, 2, 1, go. Winner gets to choose the map. <laughs> That'd be interesting to see what the dev would say. Yeah, I'd be very interested to see what a dev would say for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. 